The Cicada Group is a Zimbabwean agroforestry company which produces timber, macadamias, avocados, and bananas. Our estates comprise over 20,000 hectares of productive land and 10,000 hectares of protected conservation areas, and we employ over 3,000 people. This platform gives us a unique opportunity to respond to the existential threats of climate change and environmental degradation. At Cicada, we are addressing these problems through a comprehensive program of restoration and conservation and the introduction of more modern, sustainable agricultural practices. Our approach uses a range of measures from industrial composting, regenerative agriculture, and integrated pest management, through to the restoration of riparian zones, the protection of indigenous forests, and the removal of invasive species. Indeed, we have dedicated a world-leading 30% of our estates to nature conservation. But as corporate agriculture works to become more sustainable, we must also lift up the communities around us. In their quest to make a living, Zimbabwe's growing population of small-scale farmers have turned to increasingly unprofitable and environmentally damaging practices that lead to siltation, erosion, and the pollution of our river bodies. Every year, we clear more and more unsuitable land for ever lower yields. But subsistence farming is rarely profitable, and the ecosystem services these areas once provided have become seriously compromised, resulting in real climate change adaptation issues for our communities. <laughs> Farmers like Kumbirai need a more productive alternative that generates higher income for their families and protects the environment for generations to come. Cicada's small-scale conservation agriculture program has been designed to provide exactly this, ensuring that farmers have the training, finance, and market access to optimize land use and increase incomes, while at the same time developing a practice of strong environmental stewardship. Cicada's program trains farmers in conservation agriculture techniques that have been proven to increase yields by up to four times on smaller farm sizes. The program teaches minimum soil disturbance, mulching, and composting, as well as better crop management. Over time, it provides farmers with higher value export crops like macadamias, coffee, and avocados, and which are intercropped in existing fields. When mature, these crops will generate increased incomes and a better standard of living. In return, farmers like Dennis are required to remove invasive species, halt riparian agriculture, and restore non-agricultural ecological zones through indigenous tree planting. As the relationship with each farmer builds, their area under production is gradually increased from only 1 16th of a hectare in their first year to one hectare four years later. The program results in a landscape managed by prosperous, skilled farmers with a strong sense of environmental stewardship, allowing the forests and waterways to recover and the people who rely on these vital ecosystems to flourish. <laughs> The program benefits us too. Through our outgrower scheme, we are training a pool of future suppliers, like Isaac, who will soon produce crops we can export.
For our businesses to flourish, all farmers, large or small, need a healthy landscape which provides essential ecosystem services such as clean water, pollination and fertile soils. But to make meaningful change requires significant investment. Without the critical resources required to scale this program up, we face a spiraling cycle of ecosystem loss and poverty. As we grow, our vision is to forge a new path for agriculture, where farmers at all scales become prosperous, responsible stewards of their land.